You should be trying this car. In my opinion, if you've got Gran Turismo 7, you need to be driving this car. It is a very, very, very special, difficult and rewarding thing to drive. What is it? It's a Nissan Super Silhouette. First produced, I think, in 1979. It raced here at Fuji for four years between 1979 and 1983 in the Super Silhouette Championship, which was a mad championship. All kind of cars that needed to have the, the silhouette of a production car. You can see this looks like a Skyline, kind of, but then they put crazy engines in it. So over 500 brake horsepower in this car, which is more than Formula One cars had at the time. And very, very, very light too. It's only five kilograms over a ton. So 1,005 kilograms. Most of the other cars you can see here, relatively modern GT3 cars, weigh about 1,200, 1,300 kg. So this car is almost a third lighter. It is an absolutely insane car to drive, and that's mainly because of the turbo. This car is so reliant on the turbo. Let's talk all about it. Before we do, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is GT Omega. So if you want to drive this car in the most authentic way possible, you need to be in a state-of-the-art rig, and GT Omega do make state-of-the-art rigs. I'm in a GT Omega Prime rig. So do go check them out on gtomega.com, and if you use my code KIRITH5, you will get yourself 5% off everything at checkouts. So there we go. Big thanks, GT Omega. Now, I talked about the turbo here. This car is so utterly dependent on the turbo lag. Have a look at the turbo <laughs> indicator there in the middle of the dashboard, and there's just so much lag. Now this is where we're going to see the big strength of this car, which is down the straight. I reckon we are going to absolutely obliterate a lot of these modern Group 3 cars. Now the first thing you need to do if you want to drive this car seriously is memorise the shifting point. So on BMP at the moment, second into third is very quick, 80 miles an hour, third into fourth about 112, and then fourth into fifth is 148. Don't go even a mile an hour over those, otherwise you'll hit the limiter and you just lose so much time. And you also just get this crazy lag. Look, feel the lag now. But then as soon as it starts going, as soon as the turbo starts spooling up, spinning up that air, you just get insane powers. We're going to go up. See, oh, a bit of contact there. Wonder how this thing would have done against the uh, McLaren F1. I mean, this is a much older car than the McLaren F1. It dates from the 70s when things were, you know, a little bit crazy, let's be honest. And we've got another Super Silla up here, Mr. Svensson, so we can get a good look in the classic livery. I think the Tomica livery, isn't it? I mean, I love boxy cars. I have a thing for, like, if, if the car looks like a box, I'm all over it. And this is definitely a boxy car. My sort of car. So let's try, try and drive a bit properly now. And I'll really show you the handling characteristics. You've really got to get your gearing right in this thing. Now, part of the reason why I'm so excited about this car is that Gran Turismo are releasing a lot of free content fairly frequently. Every month we seem to get new cars, sometimes we get a new track as well. And, you know, they painstakingly recreate the interiors of all these cars and hand handling characteristics, but they rarely give us a reason to drive them. That's my biggest criticism, and I've made videos of this in the past. They release all these amazing cars, but they don't give us reasons to actually drive them. Now, this car Incredibly, even though at the time, in the early 80s, it was an FIA Group 5 car, this is in the Group 3 class in Gran Turismo 7, so you can use this car in Group 3 races online. And that is an absolute game changer. It looks like it's getting very overcast here. I hope it's not going to rain. Get the radar up, because I don't think I have the uh, <laughs> wet and intermediate tyres there, so fingers crossed it's not going to rain, just getting a bit overcast. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, it is going to rain. Right, we're going to find out what this thing is like on slick tyres at Fuji. Oh my word. This is... I was not expecting this. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very happy that Gran Turismo 7 have actually given us a reason to drive this car. So, and I've been using it. I'll sh um, have some videos on the end screen here that you can check out of me racing this in anger. On the inside of the VGT, it is raining now. This is going to be very sketchy. Now, this is a light, much lighter car, I imagine, than that VGT. I think it's a Corvette. Ahead of the McLaren, that car will be about 1,300 kg. So we're going to be much lighter. Now, when I go karting, which is really my background, actually in the rain, it can be better to be heavier. You just get more grip. So I don't know how this is going to work here at Fuji. Is it going to be very skittish? It looks like absolutely torrential weather. Absolutely torrential.
big moment. We've just about kind of saved it. Whoa, no, we haven't. Okay, so I, I purchased some wet tyres. We're going to do this properly. So we're going to do the two laps, and we're on the wet tyres already. Let's go. I am absolutely petrified because this car is really difficult to drive. It's really fussy at the best of times and the best conditions. So how on earth is it going to be in this torrential rain? See if we can just dive up the inside a little bit here. Oh, very optimistic. Don't think I really want to be in first gear much at all. Can we go up the inside of the Corvette? Let's see. Hopefully he's going to dab on the brakes a little bit. Yes, we do. Just pivoting the car a little bit. He's still there. The Corvette almost oversteered into him. See if we can just find some grip here. Yes, we can. Oh, yes. Love this. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And we slot in behind the two finished drivers try and get my nose up here just about this is honestly very difficult to drive i feel like it just wants to spin up absolutely petrifying keeping on the rain meet from the bottom left because this rain is absolutely torrential bit of contact there we're gonna a plane a little bit oh yes yeah, slot in two finish drivers going side by side. Whoa. This is going to be tricky this bit, the camber. Let's find a see if I just... It's very difficult. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed by the AI here. Making this way more narrow than I should. Oh, almost make contact. Right. Can we deploy the power? Taking its time. Hopefully no aqua painting on the wet tyre. Let's go. Let's go. Last lap. Super silhouette. Dropping the people behind. This is where it moves. This is where it... Oh, I've got a break. Super, we'll have him. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And the Aston sliding a bit. Can we get a few more positions? Quite a few finished drives in here, aren't there? Oh, hit that puddle, didn't we? Keeping it in third. Doesn't like it because the revs are so low, but I have to deal with it. Oh. Tiny bit of contact, we'll take that and try and sweep around the outside here of the RCF. And maybe we can dive up the inside of the Jaguar, let's see. That is a strong move. The Genesis up next. Just feathering the throttle. Hasn't killed me yet, hasn't killed me yet, there's still time. There's a big traffic jam up here. This is where the car struggles, really, at low speed. Oh, can we just nip up the inside here? Oh, bit of contact. That is an ambitious move, but we're doing it. Try and open this up so we can get up to speed quicker. Come on, come on, Super Silhouette. Can we get him before the line? Come on. Come on, breathe that air. Ah, oh, now we're moving. P5. P5. So, there we go. <laughs> Look how dirty it is on the back. That is a Nissan Super Silhouette available for £1,150,000 from the Legendary dealership. If you've got those credits, I really, really, really recommend trying this car out. And if you like online racing, I think it's going to be quite an interesting car online because it's so different to pretty much every other car in Group 3. And as a lighter car, it might be quite good on the tyres as well. There we go. Hope you enjoyed it. There's going to be more videos around the screen if you want to see me racing this car. But otherwise, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you, see you next time.